Yeah, we on. Hey, Shalom, I can. Y'all, by Shem, I was trying to the thumb, man. First off, we want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai. Uh, we're going to send double honors to the Pops and the Elders of Great Millstone. Much peace, love, and salutation to all you Akiyam out there pushing the word sincerity and truth. As you can see, I'm here with the brother Bukwasha, man. We also got the brother uh, Yatazak on the line. And uh, we just wanted to talk, uh, go through uh, this topic on Ruddy. We, we saw uh, uh, the brothers from Men of Valor, uh, Stay in the Spirit, did it, did a uh, um, uh, sit down on it. And um, Yatazak, you said the brother Malcolm from uh, Chi Town did a sit down on it? Con, con, con. He was going in on some Edomite passed up there in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? And uh, basically, the, the Edomite passed in Chicago, his name is something Gant. And he was going into, uh, he was basically, you know how Esau does, they'll show a snippet of a video and not show the whole thing to demonize us. Well, basically those brothers, uh, I want to say they were in Cleveland, if I'm not mistaken, were, uh, going, they were going into that definition. And even though they were rude in speech and not in knowledge, he put up the rude part just in, uh, yeah. just in order to eliminate the truth. You know what I'm saying? But uh, they basically went into the word ruddy and, uh, and proved to him on the highways and byways, if I'm not mistaken, what King David looked like. Kind, kind. Yeah, so you know it's a pretty simple topic, but we, we figure, hey, the brother here, Bukwasha, has got some uh, info that he had found, and uh, I wanted to uh, go through it. I know he was uh, anxious to go through it because you know that's what we're about, man. Right. We're about information, and, and we're in that time of uh, death, destruction, and diligence. So, we're like, why not, man? Let's let's get this thing cracking. Man. I don't know. You want to open up with what you found? You have something you want to say real quick, Art? Oh, uh, no, nah, uh, the, the, the scripture's going to say everything that need to be said. God, God, God. So you want to show it? Yeah, sure. Okay. Let me show that real quick. Y'all brothers, let me know if y'all can see this. You want to read that one first? Uh, one right 16. There? Yeah, fine, fine. It should okay. be first Samuel 16. Make sure I bring it up. It's uh first Samuel seventeen and um uh, there's a few of them, you know. Well yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll try to get the, the, the one in the sixteenth verse, uh sixteenth chapter in the in the twelfth verse. Um All right. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's good. It's good. Okay, kind of. So so I'm gonna read it first and then uh to hopefully get to this point. Okay. Um let me make sure it's the same one. All right, so this is First Samuel chapter sixteen, uh, verse. <clears throat> and Samuel said unto Jesse, "Are here all the children?" And he said, "There remained yet the youngest, and behold, he keepeth the sheep." And Samuel said unto Jesse, "Send and fetch, send and fetch him, for we will not sit down till he come hither." All right. And it says, and he sent and brought him in. Now he was ruddy and with all of a beautiful countenance. Mm -hmm. It says, um, and goodly to look to. And the Lord said, arise, anoint him, for this is he. God, 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 God. So is that, yep, Con. So it's the one right here. Con. Mm -hmm. So even as you're looking at it, you can see in the in the old English. I think this is from the uh, fifteen thirty five version of the Bible. Okay, mm -hmm. you can see where the wor word says "ruddy" here in the King James sixteen eleven. Okay, in the fifteen thirty five, it says, "and he was well colored." Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's just going to show you that there's no way that he could have been an Edomite. Mm -hmm. Chapter 16, verse 12. God, God, God. Yeah, yeah. So you can see clearly, like, this word ruddy, um, it has a deeper meaning. It's a, it's a, it's a branch off from an uh, uh, old English word, you know? And so when we're looking at uh, the word ruddy, it's, it's, it's purely just talking about his complexion, his shine. You right. know what I mean? Right. And you have all these ex uh, examples that we have even in our modern-day language 
to that let you know. You right. know, you call somebody a red bone, you're like, man, look at that red bone right there, bro. Right, right, right. Woo, you know, you, you ain't talking about no white girl. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and you're not talking about the color red either. And you, talk, you ain't talking about the color red either, man. It, it's a certain type of shimmer and shine that she has about her skin, a lighter a, a lighter tone. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Fine. Uh, and then, okay, let me pull this up too. Uh, I'm going to stop this one. I'm going to go back. Let's go back and share the screen. And then go... Yeah, right here. So when you go here in that first Samuel 16 and 12, it says, and he sent and brought him in and he was ruddy and with all of a beautiful uh, uh, countenance and goodly to look to. And Yahweh said, rise, anoint him. Well, this is he, right? Now, when you go into these translations, you got the, uh, the the King James Version. Of course, you got this word ruddy. The New King James Version, ruddy. Now, look what you have when you have the NLT, right? It says, so Jesse sent for him, and he was dark and handsome. <laughs> dark and handsome. With beautiful eyes, and the Lord said, this, uh, this is the one anointing. Hey, 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 the, hey, the lesson's really over after that. <laughs> you know I mean, I mean what more needs to be said? I mean... Clearly, for the edification of, of the elect, we are, we are going to continue. However, dark goes to show you that it wasn't white. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. You know? I mean, that's bedrock. Now, yeah. now you can continue just for the edification, but yeah, that's. Yeah. So, so you got all these uh, Edomites that want to say, look, it's red, it's red, it's red. But then, but then when you go into the word, it is, it's clearly showing you, no, man. Alex, yeah. can I say this? Can I? The only reason they have on the red is because we have hit them over the head with them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You red. So yeah. I would say, what, was not Malcolm X considered red? Boom, I got it. I got him right here. You know what I'm saying? Called, Malcolm was X was considered red. You got all these different shades of red. You know what I'm saying? Well, you look, 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 Detroit Red. Detroit, Detroit Red. Detroit. That was his name. That's what they called him. That's like Boston George or like Easy E. Whatever. The, you know what I'm saying? That's what they called him because of his complexion. Mm hmm. You have Red Fox. Con. He, same color as, 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 as uh, Detroit Red. Mm -hmm. right, right, right. But it wasn't talking about no white dude. <laughs> no, it wasn't talking about no white dude because it was talking about the Israelites. That's right, man. That's right, man. Like I said, if you pull up red bone, you gotta be careful when you pull up the mm, red bone. Right. <laughs> <laughs> These are some red bones right here, man. That's what I'm saying. I'm in, I'm in love like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, another word that, that could be used uh, that they didn't use because the, the further you get down the color spectrum, the more you see it's a dark uh, shade of brown. Yeah. Okay, another word would be tawny. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Right. Yeah. So, so when you go into Tani, you you see like like there's a a resemblance of brown, mm -hmm. a very heavy set brown. So when you look at someone from a distance, and plus with the sun in itself, right, it makes your your skin in itself a browner shade. Always. Boom. Boom. So when you're looking at this word ruddy. And, and if you get the understanding of it, it's really not that hard to understand, man. So these people try to turn this around and, and try to make it to be something that it's not. Why would uh, uh, um, King Solomon, you know, the son of King David, call himself black and comely? Mm. You know what I'm saying? God. They don't. They don't even. They don't even make. They don't even make sense, man. So you just got to get. You got to just get the understanding of it, man. Now I know uh, um, you had a couple of things you wanted to touch on, um, Yatazak. Kind of. As far as that scripture goes. Yeah, because what, what what it is when you look up uh, when you read down further in the chapter, when you read down further in the chapter, and Samuel it goes into Goliath talking about David being a stripling. You know what I'm saying? And the reason why I wanted to bring that out is because if you're a stripling, it doesn't matter what color you are. You know what I'm saying? A stripling, the definition for stripling, according to the Etzimon, I mean, according to the uh, the blue letter, is a man that's around the age of puberty. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And the thing was, when you what read... Scripture, what scripture you in, uh? 
First uh, yeah, I, uh, I just typed in stripling in the blue letter. Let me see. Uh, it's uh, yeah, 1756. Yeah, 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 that's it. 1756. Now, would you look up that word stripling? Read that scripture for me, brother. And the king said, Inquire thou whose son the stripling is. The stripling. You know what I'm saying? Now, Goliath referred to him as a stripling, and then Saul referred to him as a stripling. When you look up that word stripling, it's talking about a, 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 a boy that's at the, uh, at the age of puberty. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's what Goliath was offended by. He wasn't offended by his skin tone. You know what I'm saying? Because people want to say that he was ruddy, that he was red. That's not what pissed Goliath off about the whole situation. The thing that offended him was like, I'm a champion. I'm a champion amongst the Philistines. We fighting the Israelites. So send me your best Israelite. So with him having that mind frame of fighting their best Israelite to make his point, and then David comes out, mm -hmm. he was offended by he was offended by seeing a teenager coming to fight a grown ass man. It didn't have nothing to do with his skin color. Gone. Gone. You know what I'm saying? It says he was a young man. That's why Goliath was offended. He like, I, he said, I just charged up your whole nation, and this is who you send out to fight me. You know what I'm saying? He didn't yeah. say, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm mad. How, how dare you send this little Edomite to fight me? Yeah. No, man. The only reason y'all harping on that Esau, that ruddy mean and red, is because we told you that you red because you lied about the shit. That's yeah. the reason. That's the reason. Why are we telling you that David wasn't ruddy, meaning he was a white boy? He was ruddy, meaning he was he was a he was a a a a, 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 a lightly complected, dark skinned man. You yeah, know what I'm saying? It, yeah, and if I could real quick, I, the 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 translation of the modern day version of what that word ruddy today, how we would use it, it would be either he would be light skinned. Hmm. That's yeah, it. He'd be, he'd be light skinned. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Light skin, okay, and um, Solomon would would what we call black. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, but ne neither of the two, okay, are e anywhere close in proximity to being white. Yeah, okay, that's that's the whole point. <laughs> hey, I looked up that uh, I, uh, I just uh, googled the word new speak. You know what I'm saying? Because you know when you go into new speak, it's the changing of these different words. You know what I'm saying? How gay used to mean happy, but now it means homosexual. Uh, how rape used to mean grab up, now it means to take uh, to, to to beat a bitch to a pub before you fuck. You know what I'm saying? Well, new speak. The definition is ambiguous euphemism language used chiefly in uh, used chiefly in political propaganda. You know what I'm saying? Now, the political propaganda in this situation is to make it look like King David was a so-called white man. You know what I'm saying? They're going to use the propaganda to make uh, King David look like a so-called white man where the scriptures clearly tell you that he was a, that he was a man with pig, uh, he was a man with melanin, a man with pigment. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, uh, ruddy, ruddy, when you go into the etymon, it says that it goes into the color of the soil. What's the color of soil? Right. It's brown. You know what I'm saying? It's a derivative of brown. But when they say, when they go to the new speak and they use the word ruddy, now all of a sudden, ruddy means you're a white boy? Yeah. <laughs> King David wasn't no fucking white boy, man. Stop saying that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he, clearly, he clearly was, that's what I'm saying. Because if, if, if he was ruddy, meaning he was a red bone, and Solomon came out black as coal, that means that Bathsheba, or, or Bathsheba had to be a dark skinned woman. Yeah. Cause you ain't finna have you ain't finna, two crackers ain't finna come out with a nigga, man. <laughs> it's not how it works. But you can have two so-called Negroes that can come out with an albino. You know uh, what I'm saying? Uh, so when you so when you go into Gehazi and when you go into Edom and when you go into all these scriptures that go into what dudes look like according to their skin color, you know what I'm saying? You know that Gehazi was cursed by his melanin being taken away. You know what I'm saying? Edom was cursed by his melanin being taken away. But at the end of the day, everybody was dark skinned at the end of the day. So you have to figure out what exactly he's talking about before you get to running your goddamn mouth. Hey, I if I could jump in real quick, the when you read contextually, there is no reason that Goliath would would be uh, astonished or shocked, okay, by uh, 
uh, an Edomite. Well, he will be shocked at an Edomite, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. Versus um, being an Israelite, yeah. being being light skinned, that that wouldn't that wouldn't yeah. shock him. Yeah, he was like, Come. oh, man. it's like right. Yeah. Which is the reason why it talks about his countenance and and, and about his youth. Mm -hmm. the, the only the, the only reason that his um, complexion was brought into it because majority of the uh, of the Kushites, uh, the Philistines, etc., are dark skinned people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's like, oh, okay, who, who's this little light skinned you know yeah, joke coming up here? Yeah, but, because another thing about melanin and darkness or whatever it, it uh, equated. To as they say uh, in the world, right? The darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. Mm -hmm. So, so your complexion, even though you know scripturally it, it doesn't relate, but I'm just saying as far as him being dark, that is something that that was well perceived all throughout the nation. It's yeah. like it is now. Most women love a dark skinned man. However, when you see a light skinned man, you're like, oh, okay, but you still know he's not an Edomite. Yeah. And then, like, if you see a light skinned man, it's less threatening back in those times, man. It That's also like, true. Man, this little, this little pretty boy, man. Right, right, right. Man, right. Pretty, I'm about to kill this pretty boy. Right, right, That's what, right. That's what Goliath was thinking. He's like, little, little, this little old boy, mm -hmm. you know? Somebody said, send, send me a warrior so I can prove to y'all that I'm better than all of you, man. He's like, because huh. that, that's what they typically call him. Yeah, pretty boy. pretty boy, you know? So, so, so that's what you know. The pretty boys be getting hated on. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> you typically know? they refer to me, you know, as having uh, oh, oh, you know, you think you were light and bright. Uh huh. <laughs> like, Hell, I'm a, bro. Even when I was growing up, even when I was growing up, man, I used to get teased for my t for my skin tone. People used to tell me I was orange. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. People, motherfuckers used to tell me I was orange, you know what I'm saying? So I would be considered ruddy because I'm a, I'm a brown skinned man with, with a hue of red. Right. You know what I'm saying? If you, when you, if, I'm gonna say, if you, if you look at me, I'm saying, you can hit my arm and make a red bruise. Of course. You know what I'm saying? You can, you can see that red show forth through my skin, but that don't mean I'm a cracker. <laughs> yeah, it don't even make sense, man. Yeah, that's, that's just like one time I told this Edomite dude that, that uh, black people could actually tan. Yeah. Yeah, because because we can, and in your skin, you can get skin burn as well. Yeah, and, baby, and, and what happens a lot of times if if I go somewhere and I'm in the sun, the, the, my skin will begin to have like a little glow to it. Yes, right. You know? It's red. You know, you get that ruddiness to it. Right, right, right. You know, but but are you an Edomite? <laughs> as Yats as I said. Yeah. Hey, Ariana, can you look? Can you click on that duck, brother? Oh God. Yeah, that's not a white duck, man. That's red. <laughs> that's ruddy right there, man. It's ruddy. That's a that's a dark that's a dark skin duck, you know what I mean? Like straight you know what up. I'm saying? <laughs> Easy. Nah, nah, Easy. What's going on? It's not talking about this part of them, right? This little white part. It's talking right. about this part is the ruddy part, man. Right. Yeah. Hey. At some point, you know, you just gotta be honest with yourself, Esau. The scriptures ain't talking about you. Okay? It ain't got nothing to do with you. Hell you know to what I'm no. Hell yeah, to the no, man. You know and saying? even when you look at this, this look at that, man. Ruddy, ruddy, ruddy brown. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. That's, that's what ruddy I said. I mean, no, so, 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 no, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I, no, no, go ahead. I, I was about to look up, look up something. Okay. Well, I mean, so, so Esau has to try to maneuver himself in the scriptures because if, if he doesn't play the part of the, the kings, okay. As you read throughout the scriptures, then then where are the Edomites? So yeah. so now what I'm saying is when you debunk the theory of King David being an Edomite or or, or, or being white, the question should uh, uh, resonate in, in your eyes of okay, well, who are so called white people then? Yeah, yeah. Because now the lineage, what I'm saying is that that one entry point now the lineage in itself, because of course King David uh, um, uh, came through the root of Jesse. Right, so that whole lineage now has to be what dark. Yep, yep. So now you're gonna look at the Edomites and say, okay, or or um, so-called white people and say, well, well, where are you guys at in the scripture? So, so bro, <laughs> Ariana, <laughs> Ariana, do do, do me a favor with your screen. Type yeah. in ruddy black skin, and look at the first thing that come up. Ah, can't hear that. 
<laughs> now, now when I, when I pulled it up, you can see now. Now go click click on all instead of images. Click on all. Look what the first thing come up is. The meaning of ruddy, reddish brown skin tones in the Bible. Yeah. In the Bible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, <laughs> now, 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 now. After you do that, type in ruddy white skin. Man. Ruddy, reddish brown skin tones in the Bible. Mm -hmm. See what it said. I wonder what the Bible means when it refers to Esau, David, and other Hebrews as ruddy. Then you come to the right place. They see that Esau trying uh -huh. to put himself up yeah. in there. Oh, it is a very in depth study on the word because this page will be blah, ruddy in Hebrew. Yeah, they just give him references. basic, basically. Yeah. Well, got now, when you go, when you type in ruddy white skin, up under all the first thing come up it says what does ready mean then it has the real hebrew israelites up there so the first topic when you type in ruddy white skin it says what does ready mean because they know it's an issue you know what i'm saying but then when you go to the image it got all these edomites up here the only person that's black up there it got somebody uh it got a uh, terrence howard <laughs> and then it got uh it got prince it got prince william uh, uh and, it got, and it got a couple of other edomites you know what i'm saying and it it looked like somebody from ISUPK up there, but fuck that, ain't nobody ISU. They definitely ain't bringing in no Edomites. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, since they Black Lives Matter, they ain't bringing in no Edomites, so we'll give them credit for that. <laughs> um. So yeah, let me get in. Uh, we'll jump into because all of all of this on this website. Uh, uh, what does ready really mean? I'm gonna jump down here to where it uh, The second paragraph it says there's no scripture that says King David had red hair or red skin as as in like the white Slash red man uh, Esau it says that notation came from the misinterpretation of King David being described as in scriptures as just read in modern-day dictionaries uh, in the Zonovan compact Bible dictionary it says uh, a word is used to refer to a red or fair complexion in contrast to the dark skin of Hebrew Israelites. So that's a bone in the uh, Zondervan Combat Bible Dictionary. But here's the point. It says, long story short, King David was a handsome, light-skinned, fair complexion Hebrew Israelite mm -hmm. who still had melanin and color, just not dark skin. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it says, for reference, mm -hmm. you can... Terrence Howard. Is that, is that right. your talent in the shower room? Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. The senior rapper Drake are good examples of fair skinned Hebrew Israelites. And then the next part, which is also a, a basic milk scripture, but it goes to show you that our people came from the soil, the mm -hmm. earth. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nowhere on the earth. Okay. Not, not unless you're uh, in, in Iceland. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You're going to find. Something that that would, would resemble white. Yeah. yeah. It says first we must remember that uh, Hebrews are all shades of the ground. Jeremiah fourteen and two. Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof language they are blind, and the cry of Jerusalem has gone up. Um, so it goes into the word Kadar. Um, it goes into uh, a couple of the. Uh, the Hebrew words, mm -hmm. um, yeah, the one that, and, and so yeah, all of these words resemble color. Mm -hmm. So even going into that, uh, if we bring up that, that last one, uh, uh, okay. first Samuel 17 and 42, the one that you had, the second one. Yes. Yeah, okay. right. so sure. yeah. we'll, we'll just read that. And, yeah. What that is? That's it right con, 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 it's the second one. Yeah, color two. Okay, this one right here. Con. All right, con. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna read this in First Samuel 17, and I'm gonna read. I'm gonna start at 41. It says, um, "And the Philistine came on and drew near unto David, and the man that bare the shield went before him." It says, and when the Philistine looked about, 
and saw David, he disdained him for he was but a youth, going back to the point that Yachtazak uh, had made about him being a stripper, mm -hmm. says, and ready. Mm -hmm. So he's going to show, oh, well, Actually, when you go into the to to what, what year was it? What nineteen? I mean, 1535. 1535 version. Instead of ruddy, it says well colored mm -hmm. and beautiful. Yeah. You know, let me know if y'all can see that. Let me see if I can. Yeah. It says well colored, man. Yeah. Yeah. So going back to the point of everyone had dark skin. But when you see, you know, a light skinned dude, as Ariella was saying, you look at him like, hold on, you yes. you you a young buck, and you like a little kid, and you pretty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got you got light skin. Yeah. You got wavy hair. You got curly hair. And, and, and can I throw this out there? You know, the Philistines was homosexuals, man. So he was probably having thoughts about David, man. He probably was, man. You know what I'm saying? Probably. Now, look, I, I, uh, 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 one of those, one of those under, uh, uh, uh. uh Black, uh, the, 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 the black ruddy skin. Mm -hmm. Up under that, I, I, I clicked on another thing. It says ruddy, red, mahogany, and olive skinned. Well, well, you know what I'm saying? What did you type in? I... Uh, it, it was still up under. It was still up under the uh, black ruddy skin. Okay, okay. It was still up. It was still up under black ruddy skin, and it's a, uh, it's a, it's a headline that says ruddy, red, mahogany. You know what I'm saying? And then when I clicked on that. It has an article that says ruddy, red, mahogany, or olive skin. First of all, olives are either dark or they're green. Ain't nobody green walking around this bitch, so we can just throw that out the window. You know what I'm saying? And it goes into these same scriptures. It's like Samuel, uh, 1 Samuel 17 and 42, and it goes into ruddy. And it says, it says, um, and, uh, it refers back to Genesis. It says, now, Esau came out red, so this is why people want to try to make it look like David was ready. Because when you look up the word ruddy, it's, 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 it's got that red hue. It's a difference between having a red hue and being straight up red. That's the way you're able to tell the difference between an Edomite and uh, 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 a mahogany skin or a ruddy Israelite. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It didn't say Esau came out ruddy. It right. said Esau came out red. It's two different words. Mm -hmm. They did that for a reason, bro. Yeah, because you know, ruddy has red hue, but Esau came out red. Why? Because your blood is red and you can see through his ass. That's different. You know what I'm saying? Damn, damn, damn. That's heavy. That's heavy. Right? <laughs> yeah, and I mean, even going back back to the, the overall principle of, of the time, okay, which is okay, this is war, okay. Typically, when you see oh, warriors, those, those warriors in those lands were dark-skinned people. Okay, even it, the Persians. Yeah, right? uh, oh, oh, <laughs> but the one distinction towards Edomites is you could see that they were clearly or they had uh, uh, black melanin. Uh, God, God. <laughs> those people that didn't have. Uh, 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 Essentially, they would look at light skinned people or ruddy people as King David would be as less of a threat. Fighting power. Yeah. So not only like like you, you but you know, ah, I, I, hey, all three. Of you. <laughs> it will be ready. Yeah, be ready, yeah. When you burn the palm of your hand. Right. Fact, let me put that on camera. Hey, put that on camera. Hey, we, hey, look, hey, I'm ready too. Stop. The root in the bottom, and then actual. When you do look, when you. They don't mean I'm white. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm right. I don't have a tree on fruit. Yeah, you can see. in there, man. Right. Of course. I mean, that was a little. Yeah, man. <laughs> so we wanted, to, we wanted to go into that, man, because we wonder why a lot of these things become a hot topic. You know what I'm saying? 
that this is a, even an argument, man. We just like, hold up, man. Right. So all, all the people they, they are trying to separate us. Trying to separate us a simple search into words. Like all these you do a simple word, you'll find out the truth of the uh, of the matter. Man. So, you know, 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 you uh, we want to once again send up honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much peace, love, and salutation to you, brothers out there pushing on it. To the scoffers. <laughs> <laughs>